I can't imagine uh, watching a video like knowing that's your son uh, screaming in the background because... A one-year-old baby. A one-year-old little boy. Sweetest little boy ever. You beat my baby. You did more than beat him. She tortured my son. She burned him with cigarettes. She had cigarette burns all down his arms. A handprint on his face. His nose was burned. His ears was burned. Bruises down his spine. She tortured my baby. Look at them pictures. Them pictures show no justice to what she has done to my son. Nothing. That's nothing. Them pictures are nothing. Tell me about the week that you dropped your son to be babysit by this... Well, family. She's a, she was a family, a family friend. friend. Okay. A I've known her for a while. Um, I dropped her off because I was going out of town to run errands. Mind you, it was never an issue because she I kept my son several times. Then he comes home. He comes upstairs. He goes straight in the room with my mother and my sister, where my mother strips him down and immediately is screaming. Call 911. When I go in there, I mean burns raw. His skin's raw. His face had a handprint on it, bruised handprint. His nose was raw. His ear burns all in it. Bruises down his butt, his spine. He was beat bad. When I called his pediatrician to get him in there, abuse. He said, these are cigarette burns. I take him to the hospital, cigarette burns. Then we had to go to another hospital for them to verify cigarette burns. CPS is involved. Um, She's nowhere to find. She deleted all social media and she She disappeared. Disappeared. After the fact, I found out there was a video of my son. So I'm like, where did it come from? Who is and then they also let me know that Taylor is the one that recorded it. So I'm trying to reach out to the Taylor. Like, where's the video? She's like, I don't have it anymore. Somebody else does, one of our mutual friends have it. You can get it from them. So like a month later, I got the video. Do you know this woman, Taylor? No, I never met Taylor. I had a Facebook conversation with her, but... Uh, have you ever met her? No, no, never met her. I've never seen this girl. Did you ask her why, um, what was her purpose of videotaping it? I did. Because I, she's in the video saying, oh, I promise not to say anything. Like, what the hell kind of reaction is that? Like, right. Like, if somebody said, hey, I'm going to beat the hell out of this baby, I'd be like, no, no, you're not. Right. What was your motivation for making the tape? I didn't see her burn him with the cigarette. I want to make that clear right now. I didn't see her do anything else to him, but she was smacking his butt in the video. She was being really dramatic. But that's all I've seen, and I didn't know who the mom was at the time. I had no idea who she was, but I've seen her son. I seen him when he was younger, because I knew the babysitter through a mutual friend. I met her, and I've known her for about a year, and I never thought she would do anything like this. And when she started to smack him, like, I pulled my phone out to videotape it, and I called the mutual friend that I have with Kira and told him about it, and I had sent him the video. I met up with him, sent it to him, and he was supposed to send it to her that night. You're saying you did the tape to show the mother what was going on. So she could go about it however she wanted to. Why wouldn't you... As just as a human being, act and say, don't hit that baby. Because, because I, I didn't... I mean, 38, I, we counted, she hit that baby 38 times. This is, this is a 12-month-old baby. What was I going to do, take the kid when I didn't know who the yeah. mom was? I didn't even know who the mom okay, was. Hold on. hold on. You had a phone. Well, yeah. How about 911? This is a defenseless, defenseless baby screaming, and you did nothing. 
At least I took the video instead of just at sitting least, there. What was I supposed least. to just leave? No, just let her do it? Tell your friend. No, I am going to tell. And she's crazy. She's not going to listen to me. Well, she would have took the but, baby but and left like she did after you, she figured it out. But you went, with, you went along with it. You're really the whole reason why my son was tortured. How? Like, you really, how is that my fault? Because you really was. Like, how? Because you let your kid with her? You could have prevented it. You could have prevented it. You could have prevented it. What do you mean? How could you prevent it? You could have prevented it. She would have took the baby anyway. You could have prevented that from my child. What if my son would have died? What if my son would have died? Huh? You watch him be beat. You watch him be beat. You watch my son be beat. And I didn't know she was going to do and all that stuff to him. But you left him. You didn't go to You that? left him. I, you, I don't I care. Made her you stay at her house. She had you him, not I me. I don't care. You left my son. You left him there. It got way worse. And that's how is that my and fault that she had him that you left. She made me leave what her house. Made you do. I don't care what she made you leave. You should have took my son. Yeah, and I, how was I supposed to? It I could not know she was going to do that. And I thought you were going to get him that night. How many times has she beaten my That's son? That's the only time I've seen it. How many times? So I don't what know. What made you record it? What made you want to record my because son? Because I've seen her start smacking him. What made you? Die? I wanted you to know. I wasn't going to go to you. I, not, you wanted me to know. But Taylor, you could have stopped it. Like, you could have stopped my baby. She beat my son. There were 38 times. Have you ever been burned with a cigarette? No. I have been. It's very, very painful. And think about being a baby, being burned. How many cigarette burns were there? Just on one side, was, it were 20 burns. Like, what if my son would have died? Well, she would definitely be an accomplice, that's for sure. There's got to be somebody who knows where this woman is. And I if they have any know. decency, they will contact the police and let them know where this woman is so they can go lock this person up, and I use person very loosely. I like to call her something way worse. Mm -hmm. And I hope that she does go to jail someday yes. and serve prison time so that your son gets some form of justice. <laughs> um, Taylor came here, took a lie detector test, and we asked her about the abuse. Did you hit Kira's son? She answered no. Did you burn? Kara's son, she answered no. Did you witness or see your friend burn Kara's son? She answered no. The results came back all the same, and it came back that Taylor told the truth. Um, no, 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 no. There's no applaud for that. Right. <laughs> Who gives a damn? You're just as guilty. Very. You are. I mean, you, you know, you want to convince yourself you didn't do anything then you convince you, I didn't do anything. Yeah, so you're absolutely you right. You didn't you did, do nothing. You did absolutely nothing. You let a baby get tortured, and you promised you wouldn't tell. I still want to know what you would have done if that was your nephew. Can I please? Can she would have done that? something. Yeah, like. But it's easy when it's a stranger. And maybe, maybe, maybe I, I hold myself to a different standard because I was a policeman, and my role was to serve and protect. And your job is not that. But where is the humanity in this? Where is the basic word, yes, I am going to tell. I hope, young woman, that you go and, and, and find something in you that you have some courage moving forward. Because someday you might need to protect your own children. I'm sure maybe you'll have kids if you're blessed enough. For yourself. And I would hope, when you hold your baby, you hope that somebody would watch out you going, for girl? your child. Don't come out here, girl. And that's right, you can get the hell off my yeah! stage. Yeah! After the show, Jessica was charged with child endangerment and simple assault. But there's more to the story. Kira recently called us with new information, and here's what she had to say. After the show, so many people posted, and she eventually turned herself in. We went back and forth to court for over a year. She pled guilty to simple assault and endangering the welfare of a child and will be on probation. I wish they would have locked her up longer. I'm happy she has a record. My son will have to live with these scars for the rest of his life. Justice for my son definitely was deserved. But my son is doing great. He is the most happiest three-year-old boy I could ever ask for. 
a big thank you, Steve, for exposing her and to those who reached out and to those who reposted the video. 